Hello, everyone. I'm Jivan Hakopian from Center of Advanced Software Technologies. Today, I will present ASM Graph as a coverage-based performance evolution tool. As we know, code optimization routine is supposed to be split consist in these three sequential steps in order to enhance code generation. At first, we need to find uh, slow code sequences, then fix them, and after fixing, compute profit of, of the made changes. Of course, the three steps are uh, cyclic, and we always, or always, almost always, need to do these three steps. So, two years ago, we had a contract with the Windana Microsystem. In related to that contract, we need to enhance code generation of GCC for RISC-V architecture. So, at first, we started to compare GCC over Kalang uh, code generation, and we, in that point, had a lot of assembly code and corresponding uh, coverage files. But in that point, there is no CPU, so there is no way to perf. We started to find a well-known approach, which will highlight uh, slow parts, slow, uh, slow code sequences. Unfortunately, there is none. Only code editors. Uh, just text editors. So we decide to make uh, some coverage-based performance evolution tool, which must evaluate and provide function-level comparison of two runs for the same benchmark. I mean for the GCC and Clang, which start to compare them. For better understanding control flow, we need to visualize our graphs and in order to understand which part is more, most important and which part we need to improve, we need to somehow colorize each basic block according to their uh, execution count. And at the end, we need to somehow integrate our uh, system in a CI-CD system to make automatic uh, workflow. So here is our uh, simple instrument. Uh, as the input, it accepts uh, assembly files and uh, corresponding collected basic block information. As the first stage, our instrument splits assembly files to a function objects, then parse each function and uh, detects branch instructions. And with that, uh, with that information, we make graph. At the end, we apply collect information for the that uh, graphs and colorize them. As the output, our instrument uh, provides dot graphs for each function. And if you pass, if you run our instrument with a comparison, it uh, also provides you some table of the comparison. Here is a simple example. In the left part, you can see the C code, in which I think the most uh, most important part is the cycle. And the right part, you can see the graph which is generated with our instrument. As you can see, the red bl basic block is the most important, and all your improvement should be somehow connect with that basic block. If, if you run our instrument uh, with the comparison mode, suppose you uh, imagine you are uh, executed uh, Clang, uh, Clang and GCC on core mark, and uh, our instrument will provide such a table, which is a real table, and you can see that only 99 and uh, 40 rows, uh, Clang generate fewer dynamic instructions, and uh, let's remember EE is digit function, we will, uh, we will discover it next. Because our uh, instrument is just simple uh, scripting, it's easy to, uh, it will be easy to integrate on, C, uh, on CI-CD system. So we already covered our, all our goals, and we started to next about how to implement our instrument. It is, it is well known that not only instructions can, uh, instructions uh, can uh, improve, can Execution time uh, depends not only on instructions, also there is a pipelining. Pipelining uh, can be 
the fusioning uh, can be a uh, work if some uh, some uh, uh, instructions or uh, pattern of instructions can be put together and there is no any other instruction between them so our instruments our instrument provide uh, such information for the fusioning so this basic logs from uh, specs Perl bench and these uh, basic logs executed uh, 38 billion times and here we uh, we say that instead of putting a load up remediate and add instruction far let's put together and uh, fusioning uh, will work here we add several pattern finders and also provide a plugin a mechanism. The user can add uh, his own uh, pattern finder, his own uh, plugin to analyze a uh, basic blocks. Here's basic, we have a limitation on the basic block and uh, also only provide a data dependency only in some basic block. And uh, to be more user friendly, we add a uh, graphical interface. So let's see how it works. At first point, you should uh, create a new project by clicking, clicking and uh, typing the name. Let's call it uh, Cormark GCC versus Silang. And then we need to select assembly files and uh, coverage uh, basic block files for the GCC. I prepared that one, select them, and start to generate graphs. It will take a while. And now our project is loaded. So you can see here the graph of core bench state function, and you can list all functions on uh, core mark. You can sort them by the name or the by execution count as you want. So let's select each digit function, which was a uh, bad performance on the GCC. And start to compare that, then select the same assembly and uh, corresponding uh, execution file for Colang and compare them. We are selecting assembly file, sel selecting basic block execution file, and st starting comparing. It also take a while, and now it's prepared. So in the Right side, you can see a result of Kerlang, and uh, left side, the result of GCC. We also select each digit function and start to compare. We can see that GCC generates four instructions instead of Kerlang generates three instructions. And we can see that zero extension here is redundant, and we can remove that one. These instructions instruction was the reason for the vesting uh, 4 billion instructions, dynamic instruction count. It's a real case. And the last question, is it truly effective? During our experience, we found over 30 uh, cases. Part of them we had fixed and uh, pushed to the trunk. The last thing uh, which I want to mention is uh, GCC suffers on specs floating point uh, instructions. And I compared GCC and uh, Kalang and figured out that uh, GCC doesn't use uh, floor sale and related instruction. Instead of that, uh, it just make library calls. After my fixing, uh, I, I got 10% fewer dynamic instruction on Imagic and 17% uh, improvement on overall spec. This patch already pushed on the trunk. And the next, uh, we had evaluated, uh, we had uh, evaluate, I had evaluated the XDCA pass, uh, which tends to remove sign and zero extensions uh, from uh, for the risk five and not only for the risk five architectures. Uh, the f that pass was originally made by Jorn, and uh, he suggests to use two options or two modifications of that uh, pass. 
I evaluated that two versions and figure out that second option, second version, uh, wasn't fit us, and it make uh, it makes a worsening, not a good a good improvement. So after we removed that second case, and uh, after uh, fixing uh, and making it uh, as a usable uh, pass, we pushed uh, to the trunk and uh, get, uh, got almost uh, 15 uh, billion dynamic instructions through this pass. And our vision. As, as I, sh I mentioned, uh, our, we have a limitation on basic block that uh, we need to enhance our data analysis and do data uh, analysis overall on the function. Next, we need to add support for other architectures too, not only for the RISC-V. And uh, because of we use uh, such a library for the collecting information, we need to somehow uh, get rid for them, but at least to use perf or other uh, performance evolution tool. And uh, because we use dot graph visualization, visualization and uh, that suffers for the large graphs, we need to enhance, at least change that uh, with the other custom graph visualization tool. So I will be happy to answer your questions. Maybe I have one or two questions, no more, please. So do we have next speaker, GC Thank you. in the description for the architecture?